Hey guys, for this review I have got the Marvel Legends Series 3 Magneto figure. And I just want to start off by saying that this is one of my favorite Marvel Legends figures ever. Um, I'm a big fan of Magneto as a character. I think he's probably the best X-Men villain ever. Well, maybe not. I don't know. He's just... He's just so cool. I don't know why I like him, but it's probably the cape. I'm always a sucker for a guy in a cape in a non-homosexual manner, of course. Um, anyways, on to the figure. Um, like I said, this figure was released in Series 3 of the Marvel Legends. Um, he's really nicely detailed. Uh, if you just take and look at his cape, you can see that, uh, it's sculpted nicely, and it's painted, um, it's, like, got black shadowing on it, it's just really cool, and he's got a nice, a nice body sculpt, um, it's good, his helmet is removable, so, there it is. And then there's his face. Um, there is also a variant of this guy in the X-Men Legends box set where his mouth is opened and he was like screaming or something. Um, oh, I don't know if I said this already, but the the purple um, in the cape and even in the paint, um, it has like little bit of glitter which it's really it's not like regular glitter it's like really fine glitter um and it, it makes it like sparkle sort of but in a good way um it looks really nice uh for articulation he has a ball joint neck um it's got a pretty good range not the best not as good as the Wolverine um, figure in this wave, but still pretty good. He's got a ball joint shoulder, and then he also has a hinge at the shoulder. Um, so that's cool, I guess. It's kind of unnecessary, if you're asking me, because you could just... I don't know. But, whatever. Um, he's got double jointed elbows, so you can, like, touch his head or whatever. Um, he swivels at the wrist and at the bicep. Bicep. Um, he has a joint in the wrist, a joint in the fingers. He has a ball joint at the waist. Um, he has another joint here in the abs, but I can't really move it. Um... Then he's got articulation in the hips and the thighs, two points in the knee, um, and then he rotates here at the boot, and he's got ankle articulation and toe articulation. So that's a really good amount of articulation, um, but of course, most Marvel Legends have that. Um, for his accessories, he has his removable helmet, which I already showed, and he came with a comic book, but I've got all the comic books kind of put away. Um, I'll, I'll put in the annotations which one it is, in case you want to check it out. And then he has this really nice sentinel head display base. Now. This thing is just incredible looking. It's really, really nicely detailed. The paintwork on it is good. It's got a nice use of washes and everything. It's just great. And I always liked when they um they had the sentinel bases. They had the head, and then Gambit came with an arm, and then there was another one that was like a torso. Um, and I used to like lay them out like it was one sentinel. They got all broken up. Um, now, as far as I can tell, there's only two foot pegs on it. One's here, 
and then one's here. Um, I think it would have been nice if they would have put one on, like, the actual face of the sentinel, but, I mean, whatever. So, let's see. I'll move the camera down so you can see it once he's on here. But I'm gonna put him, put him here. Get a nice pose going, sort of. And then there it is, standing on the Sentinel base. Um. So yeah, I would say definitely definitely pick up this figure if you can find him, um, you know, probably, you can probably get a good price on eBay, I would say, um, definitely pick it up, this is the best Magneto figure ever released, as far as I know, um, and Magneto's like the main villain in the X-Men, so you gotta have him for your collection, um, yeah definitely get this one.